you an opportunity to do something. Okay. I don't know how much you've had to drink. I understand that there's an open beer in the car. Right. Which we know transportation code says you know since 1996 I believe can't have open containers you got to be careful with that yes I think the only place you could do it maybe in RVs in the little bitty back section behind in a van behind the very very back seat in the back door where nobody can sit unless you're doing it illegally and no seat belts there so we won't do that anyway it's just unsafe to drive while having open beer in the car just like texting all the other stuff so you know it's just as dangerous all right well we know you don't want to do the test you know, there's walk and turn, one leg stand, HTN. Okay. We don't want to do that. I, I get it. And since I've talked to you, you haven't even stood away from the, the, the tow truck. You're just leaning on it. Is that because you're comfortable talking to me? Or you're not? are you using it to hold your balance? Both. Both? <laughs> I'll be honest. Both. Well, honesty is the best policy. There's no doubt. And, of course, you know that I love honesty. Right, right. But you also know... Salt's going to kill me, too. <laughs> now, it's going to be a hickey, but nothing's going to kill anybody. There's always uh, hurdles we have to cross in our life. <clears throat> um, you slept well. You didn't eat tonight. And you started drinking at 8 or 9. Do you know how long ago that was? Yeah, Quite a long time. That far, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Well, you're gonna go with me tonight. You understand that, right? Correct. Okay. Because what time do you got? Exact time. I don't have my watch on. Four o'clock right now. Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm not sure if this man wants to talk to you, but it's four o'clock in the morning. If you're gonna go with me. I'm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Which means tonight you're gonna be placed under arrest for DWI. Okay. Correct. Okay, I don't know if this man needs to talk to you right now or not. A couple of quick questions. You want to... How you doing? Well... Lieutenant Vidari, you hang, are... Hold on. Is it going to be pertaining to what's going on right here? Because I need to read him something before you do that. That's going to be administrative. Okay. Just make just making sure. Uh, okay. Do your thing. Well, I didn't know if you want to do it now or if you want to wait till... I'll, I'll follow your lead however you want to okay. go with this. All right. Well, if it's administrative, it has nothing to do with this part. Correct. You can do whatever you need to. Um, totally up to you. But if it's re- pertaining to this, what's going on? I mean, time is 4 o'clock. He's just the only thing different. He's not handcuffs. Okay. Okay, because we are all recording. I don't know if that mattered or not for administrative side. I don't know that. You would know because yeah. <laughs> a lot more reading than I had to do. Yeah. But I, I just don't know that part. Now we're fine. We're recording. Uh, did, but, you, did you want to talk to me as far as if you've had anything to drink or no. you refuse any questions? Well, I'm not refusing. I'm just, yeah, I got nothing to say. You got nothing to say? Okay. You don't have uh, anything to explain about how your car ended yep, up over no, there? No, sir. Okay. Um, I'm just glad you're upright and talking to us, meaning nobody got hurt. That's what I'm glad yeah, I'm so right. fucked, but, you know, what the hell. <clears throat> Dude, let me ask you this quick question. Do you feel that you're, uh, you could report for duty right now if you had to? No. 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 No? Is there any reason for that? Yeah, I had too much drink. Okay. Do you know how much? <laughs> no. Let me explain something, Mr. Rodney. What he's asking you is not pertaining to the case. Okay. I'm just letting you know that because I have not Mirandized you. So his stuff, yeah, well, those, I understand, those, those questions are something totally different than what, yeah, what's going on yeah. right now. They go ahead and do what you got to do. Then. Okay. Well, I'm not putting you in handcuffs, man, because I respect no, you. No, but I'm screwed. I know but, that. But I just wanted you to understand that because his stuff was still kind of pertaining to the case. Direct questions pertaining Correct. to tonight. Correct. Correct. But to let you know, that cannot be used against you because I already placed you under arrest. You're just not in handcuffs. Okay. 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 On a, the court side of the house. Not it, not PD side administrative, okay? Because by asking if you were able to report for duty, don't say anything. Is one of those that... You, just, you know, saying one thing, so I, I won't be able to use it in my stuff either. Okay? Just letting you know. <clears throat> Before you ask any questions, my duty as a police officer advise your rights and to warn you the consequences of waiving these rights. You have the right to remain silent. You do not have to make any statement orally written to anyone. Any statement you make will be used against you in a court of law or at your trial. 
You have a right to have a lawyer present to advise you in a court of law or at your trial. You may have your own lawyer present, or if you're unable to employ a lawyer, the court will appoint a lawyer for free of charge now or any other time you want. If you decide to talk to anyone, you can and you can stop talking to them at any time you want. The above rights are continuing rights, which can be urged by any stage of proceedings. You understand your rights and I read them to you. Okay. Yes, sir. How many years? 28. 28. Appreciate what you did for us, man. No doubt. 28 years is a long time. I know some of your classmates. Who? I just, by the age, by the time same time frame, <laughs> I just, I know I know them. Okay. Up to you if you need to talk to them anything. Um, uh, and so you said you're, you're not fit for duty? You're not fit for duty. I'll walk away because that's all case, case pertaining. Yeah, right, I pulled up and then Was he back there or was he over here? He was over here. Oh, okay. So, I feel good about you guys that as soon as he opened his wallet and saw his badge, I was like, I felt that I thought it'd be better to accept it. It happens to me all the time, man. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, he's off, so you said uh, you don't want to talk to the coach. I mean, I was, um, I, it's up to you. I was going to cut him loose. Well, as long as you have his information, I mean, it's Munoz. Munoz. I'm going to put his notes. I'll put the on there. Yeah, and then it needs to be in a 23, and if you need it, I got one. I'm just going to put it on the I don't have his ID or nothing, so. Uh, sorry, Chess. <clears throat> okay. You, you, have, you need it for your stuff? Hmm? No, I already ran. I have never heard of him. Um, yeah, you need to tell me one, two. Yeah. I had, I had to stop for Daria. I was like, you can't ask him that. Like, Let me do this. I don't know what he said. He said, you fit for duty. And he said, no. And I was like, oh, you can't use that. No, that's all administrative stuff. Uh, yeah. On video? Yeah, go pour it out on video. Well, I saw something in the console. What is that? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Hey, Mr. Rodney. Yes. Come here real quick. Come follow me. Where do you want me to put this? I don't want to leave it in your car. I don't want somebody to see it and uh, steal it. I'll put it in my pocket. You have your wallet on you? Yeah. Let me borrow your wallet. Just don't want nobody to see it. I'm going to hold on to it, okay? No. All right. Okay. All right, come over here. I'm going to put them up front until we get down there, just for comfort, okay? Just to help you out because it's not comfortable and they're not made for comfort. You understand that. But 4 o'clock was the arrest time. It's a little past that, okay? So, you got anything? You got a knife on you or anything? No. Okay. No uh, No weapon? Where's your weapon? At home? Yeah. All right, good deal. Make sure you don't have a knife. I don't want you to get in trouble for that. No. Come on. When I, like I said, when we get down there... but I'll use double cuffs for you, okay, because in case you have any shoulder issues or injuries, just have a seat. And if you need some air, let me know. I, that should be on already because my windows are already fogging up. I'm good. The squeeze, once you get your boots underneath the bottom, you feel a little bit better. The people I bring down all the time, they say, oh, these are so much nicer than the Crown Vicks. Hang on one second, all right, sir? <laughs> Mr. Munoz. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Roger, right? Roger. Was that the name? Roger? Roman. Roman. Yeah, I just remember <laughs> seeing on the computer. All right. How long have we fallen from O'Connor? Uh, since 35. 35. I was heading northbound, and <laughs> it was going southbound on northbound. Wow. Well, so we got to... With those lights off. With We got a call for a wrong-way driver, and I think they probably told you that. Yeah. And uh, then you followed him all the way through here? Yeah. Uh, Did you turn around on the highway and follow him? No, 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 no. no. 
He turned oh. around in front of me. Oh, shoot. I just seen a black thing coming towards me, and I'm like, what the hell? So I pressed my brake. I turned on my lights for drivers behind me, and then uh, everybody slowed down, and then he just did a quick U-turn and, wow. then, and then turned his lights on and then kept on going. Uh, you just stayed on the phone with dispatch all the way I here? stayed on the phone with dispatch all the way, told him which exits he was taking, because he was exiting, getting back on the highway, almost hit a couple of 18-wheelers, uh, almost ran off the road, almost hit an 18-wheeler, and wow. then uh, almost hit a couple of guardrails. And uh, Dispatch told me not to f quit following him, but I kept enough distance, because... I, like I said, I didn't want I didn't want the spirits like look man like there's people traveling with kids. Thank God you didn't you didn't do nothing to nobody. Oh, this right here is scary too. Yeah, and then I saw and then I saw him do that. I was way behind there because he was doing about 100 down here. I was doing 80. And, wow. And then I saw a bunch of dust and I'm like. Yeah, the skid brakes. marks are pretty long. You can see him right there, of course. Yeah, he slammed on his brakes. I saw him press on his brakes and then I was like, well, damn, I'm gonna have to do first aid because I, I mean, of course, I know it. And but no, he backed out and then. Whenever he backed out, I pulled up next to him, and I was like, hey, man, I said, you got to stop. And he was like, all right, all right. I said, I don't call, I don't call the authorities. I said, J just stop, man. And he, I said, I can't let you drive like that. Oh. He said, all right. And then he pulled over there. I pulled behind him, and then I took the keys out of the ignition, and, and he waited here with me. And he, he just kept on saying, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. And I said, dude, I said, think about it the positive way. I said, you're still breathing. I There's told him that people, same thing. People still breathing. I said, no kids were hurt. I said, just life lesson learned, man. I said, life because, <laughs> I mean, him saying I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, and then if I would have left him like that and then y'all show up, I mean, that's whenever the adrenaline starts really kicking in. I just don't want him to do nothing stupid on y'all or anything. But, he, I mean, no. he, he was a good guy, man. He he, he he stayed here and listened to everything I, t I told him to do, and, and he, like I said, he followed directions well. So I told him I'd put in a good word for him for that, but as far as what y'all do to him, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, when uh, they said, I asked if your tow truck was silver, I had a call last week, 35 and O'Connor. It might have been it, me. Well, the chick was all over the road, literally, all over. And, you know, whoever it was waited around until I was done. Yeah. And we, when we took her to jail. Wow. She literally took three lanes up. It was just last, I last believe Wednesday. It, I believe it. I, you know, At the same time, 339. It's very common. I even see, like, people slammed in the back of cop cars and stuff yeah, like that. all the time. I'm like, dang, man, San Antonio is crazy. You don't it, see none of that in Dallas. <laughs> hey, you might, but I, I don't get it. Not as often, man. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate everything. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Do you want me to put this property in or do you want to? Um, I didn't think you'd be the one showing up. <laughs> welcome to North. Neither did I. Yeah, welcome to North. Someone said, oh, you're going to give a bunch of, that's where all the policemen live. Someone's gonna get arrested. We'll be up there. Ah. Sure enough. Yeah. Second night on north. Yeah. Yesterday was the first. Welcome back. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> good seeing you. I'm sure I'll see you again. Not in this capacity, but it was good seeing you. <laughs> I got some money in my hand right here for you. Sure. I don't know. It was in somewhere in the car, but it's money. Don't you have a pocket? Yeah. I'll put it in your pocket. Right. And I got your PPE bag, so I'm going to put that in our office at the sub, okay. at Central, okay? okay? Where's your duty gun? Is it at home? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>